before I meet, I'm gonna use the best of the best. This is an Australian Wagyu Picanha Marbling Score number 9. Even though it's from Australian, it is Japanese Wagyu. It just came from Australia. And since it's a nice large piece, we can cut it up and use it for every single one of our cooks today. The first thing to do is to remove the silver skin on the bottom. Even though it's from a Wagyu cow, silver skin is silver skin. It's tough and it's gotta go. Once the silver skin was removed, you can really appreciate the marbling of this beef. This is as good as it gets. Now that it's all cleaned up, it's ready to be sliced for every single cook. And by the time I'm done with every single one of them, you will see that this is an amazing way to have picanha. It is one of the best experience I've ever had in my life. But now that all of them are ready, it's time to cook. Here's the very first one I found on Instagram. As you can see, he cut it in nice small strips, seared all sides, and then he just put it on top of rice. I could tell you right away that that's not any regular rice. I've actually done that rice before on the channel and I'll link on the description down below for you. But now I'm gonna make this and we're gonna find out how good it actually is. Cheers, everybody. This one's amazing. That is so good. Oh, that's right. It's supposed to be one bite. It's supposed to be one bite. Mm. How can you go wrong with rice and steak? And here we have the next one. It's a thin strip of Wagyu. They basically do a quick sear on both sides and it's ready to eat. I mean, this one is as basic as it gets. I guess they're really trying to focus on the quality of beef and not so much the preparation. But hey, let's give this a try and see how it tastes. <laughs> okay, there's not a lot of words to explain to you how wonderful this tastes. Wow, and it's so thin you could just rip right through it. It's so, so easy to chew. You guys are some smart people on Instagram, let me tell you. This is awesome. Now this one here is just a picture, but does that look good or what? It's basically Wagyu and truffle butter. That sounds amazing. Now let me show you my take on it. That was a tremendous amount of butter. Hey, but they were dipping in butter a lot more than me, but uh, I wanna see what it tastes like. I like truffle, I like butter, I like picanha. Should be good. Cheers, everybody. You better save me one. Oh, yeah. Oh, I good? enjoy that one. Oh. <laughs> if you enjoy truffle, you'll like it. But if you don't like truffle, you're not gonna like it. Wow. Oh, damn, Gua. This might be my new favorite compound butter. Milky, creamy flavor. Right. I don't know how to explain that, but it's it's on the money, let me tell you. I'm gonna go again, I'm sorry. All right, now here's the next one. Take a look at this. The guy that came up with this is an absolute genius. After quickly putting a sear on it, he dumped it in egg yolk. I can see a little bit of ponzu sauce on the bottom. And to finish it off, he drowned the whole thing in truffles. This guy is killing me. That has to be amazing. But now I'm gonna give my best shot and let you know how it tastes. First thing you gotta do is break the egg, mix it out there. Oh, that smell of that truffle coming through. Make it all gooey. I know it doesn't look very appetizing because you're just mixing everything together, right, Angel? It yeah. doesn't look very appetizing. I'm gonna give you guys a fair review so that you know if it's worth it or not. Cheers, everybody. Oh yeah, it's extremely creamy because the meat is very fatty, 
and on top of that, you have the yolk, and then to top it all off, you got the black truffle. Come on! That's a big bite, bro. Mmm. This one was good, but it wasn't my favorite. This one right here is pretty straightforward. It looks like teriyaki sauce with sesame seeds. I mean, you know what teriyaki sauce tastes like, but with Wagyu? I'm not quite sure about that one. Hey, there's only one way to find out if it's good, and that is to make it. So visually, this one looks phenomenal, but uh, I don't care about visual. I want to know how it tastes. What do you think, Angel? Teriyaki, bro. Teriyaki, bro. On the Wagyu. You know what the teriyaki does to me? What? It makes me think of mystery meat. Mystery meat? <laughs> All right. Let's give this one a try, everybody. Cheers. Mm. It's good. It tastes good, but it's not one of my favorites. This is the first time I'm having teriyaki sauce since high school. And it was mystery meat back then. I know what it is this time, but I had no clue what it was last time. Yeah, I still hate it. <laughs> All right, guys, it's time for the next one. As you can see, even though it's just a picture, you can tell what it is. It has some type of tempura. I mean, anything deep fried is good, right? So in theory, this one should be amazing. But now let me show you my take on it. Remember, exact amount and ingredients always on the description down below for you. If you've never made tempura batter, it's easy. You just gotta put all the ingredients together and mix it up. But now that we have it ready, it's time to cook and find out how good this tastes. So let's do it. Wow. That went quick, everybody. It probably took, I don't know, maybe a minute, huh, Angel? A minute or two minutes? Yeah, it was pretty quick. Very medium rare in the middle. I feel like it's missing a little bit of salt, so I'm gonna throw a little bit of salt in there. But the important thing is the taste. Cheers, everybody. Well, I can get behind that. Oh, that's nice. Oh, it gives it that crunch on the outside and you know we like crust but that crunch is like it's like a little thin crunch yep oh i like that as you can see this following one right here is just a picture and i know they're using quail eggs and it looks like underneath is rice and i'll tell you one thing that looks like the perfect combination i cannot wait to find out how good this one is so let's do it This one looks good though, huh? It's a bigger bite than I have. Oh, it's a big bite, boy. Right. Cheers, everybody. Woo! Mm. <laughs> that rice with the rice vinegar sauce is amazing. And that steak is so fatty. And then you grab the yolk, the richness of that yolk, creaminess of the yolk. That is just amazing, everybody. One bite. That's a big bite, boy. Mmm. It's so creamy. You have the rice and the steak, but I feel like the, the egg really changes the texture of the whole thing. It, it changes it completely. I think it makes it all kind of feel like, you know, like that creamy, like when the, when the egg breaks and it spills and all of it gets it. I think this, this might be my favorite one too. All right, everybody, that is the every single way I can see it on Instagram. What do you think, Angel? You know, I think <laughs> that it was quite interesting. That was a <laughs> lot of different experience we had today. Let me tell you something. That was amazing, not only because that different types of things that we cooked, but the meat itself. 
The meat yeah. is so good. I don't think there's any way that you should. That was, that was Wagyu Picanha? That was Wagyu Picanha, bro. We didn't eat everything by ourselves. We have other family members. That's why we did kind of a different style of video today because I wanted everyone to experience. That's the thing. When you grab something like that type of picanha that I showed you, you want to share with the family. It's too much for you to eat in yourself and cutting yeah. in little pieces. But even, even what we ate, yeah. which was what you saw yeah. us eat. We ate it one a good amount of everything. Yeah. I'm full. Are you I full? Have, I have a good stomach. I'm right happy. <laughs> Anyway, guys, I hope you enjoyed this video. If you do enjoy it, make sure to give it a thumbs up. If you're not a subscriber, be sure to subscribe for future videos. Remember, if you are interested in anything I use, everything is always in the description down below. Thank you so much for watching, and we'll see you guys on the next one. Take care, everybody. Bye-bye.